hello everyone so welcome to another tutorial series on ladder climbing so in this uh, tutorial series I am going to cover ladder climbing mechanics in Unreal Engine so like this you can climb up ladders and also you can climb down ladders like this so here also I am going to work on a procedural uh, ladder system where you can adjust the height like this procedurally it will define the cross pass as well and also you can define the this cross pass uh, gap as well like this all right uh, this tutorial uh, see uh, the ladder climb climbing series will be divided into three parts uh, first part I would cover this uh, procedural ladder system and in the second part I will cover getting in and climbing on uh, grabbing the ladder and climbing up uh, with the third person character in Unreal and in the third part third and the final part I am going to cover uh, this uh, these parts the exit part when I'm at the top how to exit from the ladder and also uh, when I enter the ladder from the top side how to get onto the ladder like this so those are the things I'm gonna cover in the third part and this episode, this tutorial series is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for your support. Alright, so let's uh, start with creating a procedural ladder. Right. Uh, let me create new folder pp flow for blueprints and then ladder and the type of factor right now I'm gonna define I'm gonna add a simple cube it doesn't have to be big so let's make it very small and we don't need it to be visible in the runtime also don't need collisions right so this is ladder end so let's say ladder top not end ladder top Right, and now let's add another cylinder. Okay, plain as the cylinder. All right, cylinder not on the ladder top. It should be like this. So I'll call this ladder L. So this is like the left bar of the ladder I'll make it like this so this is the left part of the ladder mm -hmm. I'll let's so then let's move it minus 10 oh not in the x direction in y direction minus 30 oh, out right then i need another one just like this ladder let's call it r and it should be plus 30 
to this side okay right then let's place this ladder here and see how it looks right it's like this let's rotate it this way so the forward is like this okay so if I place the ladder on the ground it is like this now what I want to do is if I raise the ladder top then uh, to match with this height these two bars should change their length and position so in the construction script I'll get the ladder top and get relative location split it so then based on this z value get both ladder l and ladder r get relative location so i'm going to set their relative location and the scale to match with the ladder top split and then set relative no set relative okay we have to set the full transform that means wait set relative okay this is the one transform so the rotation I'm gonna keep same let me do it like this split this get relative transform yeah let's take them all at once so it's easier and split so I'm not going to change the rotation I am going to change only the location and the scale so the location should be for example if I raise this like this then the location of this one should be half of the uh, should be in the middle from the from here to here in the middle location so this one divided by two split this and split it I don't need to change X or Y only the Z component and scale should be uh, well same as before I don't need to change X and Y only the Z component so so the scale should be uh, what it is here it's a scale 1 and the ladder top is at 130 oh, let's test this I'll move this to 100 then if I move this to 50 
it aligns so one means 100 units okay let me undo it so one means 100 so using that rule get this one divide it by 100 and set it and compile right so it is automatically adjusted and well not there So here, if I raise this, you can see the left side of the uh, this bar length adjusts. But why it's not happening here? I'm not sure. Let's delete this. and drag and drop again okay let's do the same for the right ladder as well like this uh, let's convert this to a macro adjust sidebar duplicate this and put the right ladder okay it nicely updates here now but it doesn't update here I'm not sure why but if I close this and try to adjust no uh, yeah we can do something like this then let me open the ladder uh, let's this and here let's create a custom event in it ladder and then I'll call that here and also in the begin play like this now I raise this up to this level move it closer and you can see when I play the game the ladder is in the correct height it has the correct height Better. okay now the crossbars so same as before here um, I'll add Instanced the static mesh SM no ISM crossbar now here is the mesh I'm going to use 
1 meter cube uh, changing scale I don't think it affects it has any use here changing the scale so where is this let's place one here I want to see what are the values I should have for the scale for X let's try point one seems all right and for y point nine point seven point six this point zero five okay and for the for this one zero point zero five right so this looks like okay yeah now I need a series of bars cross bars like this okay and now let's go to the init ladder function here and get the ladder top get to location get this one split this get Z so we should start from 0 I'll define a new variable oh sorry a variable temp height it should be a float Set temp height to zero and then to a uh, while temp height while temp height is smaller than the relative location of is set we are going to do this we are going to add an instance of this ism crossbar for the instance transform i'm going to use a scale is this one i will can i paste no 0 0.05.6 0 0.05 and rotation is 0 so the location is x and y is 0 z location is temp height and then set temp Right. Mm. get the temp height add so I'll promote this to a variable cross bar difference let's call it And for the oh, we are going to run an infinite loop here because I pressed compile and this is going to crash. Shit. 
quick so yeah I'm gonna have to kill the unreal engine to start working why it didn't uh, recognize as a okay right so this is where we stopped set temp height to zero and then while loop get the top get relative location split this get temp height as long as temp height is smaller than z at an instance z should be temp height scale is uh, like this and then set temp height to temp height plus the gap gap is 50 at the moment we can change it later is that all yeah now let's connect the condition Right. let me save connect the condition and connect it like this compile ok right now we got three crossbars and if I move it up you can see the crossbars are added see that's very elegant I make it public okay save all now let's add a ladder here what if I okay I can change the gap but I can't this moment doesn't affect but we can do this I'll move this to the level of this platform and play the game Wait, it didn't do what I expected. Ah, right. I think I haven't called this init ladder in here after the crash. Right. Okay. Alright, here is a question, problem, before calling this, so I should clear instances, otherwise if I keep changing I will have multiple elements duplicated and overlapping, right, now the ladder is completed. Uh, what if I define a variable height default value is 500 and then in the construct in the init ladder I'll 
set the ladder top set relative location like this I said this height ah this is better now I can dynamically change okay awesome right so the next part is how to implement uh, actually climbing this ladder so let's make this like this so we have some length to climb and I'll increase the height of this ladder like this right so in the next episode I'll start on the mechanics of uh, climbing up and the error for the in the ladder for the third person character and meanwhile uh, if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and also the project files of the complete ladder climbing system will be released in the patron page and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye